Hi everyone, let's take a look at this together. This is actually a past question derived from the National Teachers Institute. And they want us to calculate the mean of this distribution. 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, and 42. Using a method of coding. Yes, they wanted to use a method of coding to calculate the mean of this distribution. What we just need to do is to draw out a table to get it solved. First of all, solution. Now, following from the formula that states that x squared is given as a plus sum of u over n times what? h. From this formula, this formula will guide us into what we need to fill on this table. This is the mean, the coded mean. This is assumed mean because we're going to be working with assumed mean as well. This is the sum of the co coding factor. The sum of the coding factor over n numbers of observation. Then this h is is more like the class size. But in this case, we're not working with group frequency. We can just simply say the difference between the first number and the second number. That is the common difference. You can put it like that. The common difference. If you look at these values here, you can see that the common difference from each of the values is what three. So we have three as our h here. The coding factor is calculated as this u here is calculated as anyway we'll get to that point when we'll get to calculate our u so the first thing first we'll look at let's assume that we have our assumed mean to be 20. work with assumed mean let's assume that 20 is our assumed mean then we have the deviation from our mean x minus our assumed mean we have 15 minus 20 we have minus 5. Let's get the deviation from our assumed mean. We have minus 5. 18 minus 20, we have minus 2. 21 minus 20, we have plus 1. 24 minus 20, we have 4. 27 minus 20, we have 7. 30, 20, we have 10. 33 minus 20, we have 13. 36 minus 20, we have 16. 39 minus 20, we have 19. Well, at 42 minus 20, we have 22. This is our deviation from our mean. Now, this coding factor being u, u is calculated as, mind you, these formulas are very important. u is calculated as x minus a all over what? h. x minus a all over h. We already obtained the values of our x minus a. That is the deviation from our what? From our values, from our actual values. Now we have x minus a over h being the, the coding factor. And our h, which is more like the common difference, we have 3. So if we need to get the coding factor, we need to have these values all divided by what? By 3. We have these values divided by 3 because this is already our x minus a. So we have our u here. Let me put it in brackets. u equal to x minus a over h. We just have to divide this by what? By 3. 5 over 3 will give us, let's punch our calculator. Minus 5 over 3 will give us minus 1.67. Minus 2 over 3. To give us minus 0 0.67 1 over 3 we have 0 0.33 4 over 3 we have 1.33 7 over 3 we have 2.33 you can confirm if you have your calculator with you 23 divided by 3 will give us 7.33. So if we have this as our coding factor, check the formula. Check the formula. The formula states that the mean is given as assumed mean plus the sum of our coding factor, the sum of u times h all over what? n. So in this case, we can simply obtain the sum of u from here by summing up all what we have here. So by calculating the sum of this column, this u column, we can have, so the sum here is equal to 28.33. 
So if you have it as 28.33, therefore, yes, our mean by means of coding becomes 20 plus the sum of the coding factor being 28.33 then all over the numbers of numbers of observation being one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten number of observation multiplied by h being three just as was noted then we have our mean by method of coding to be 20 plus using board mass you have 28.33 divided by 10. Then let's just multiply out. Multiply by 3. I'll punch our calculator. Should give us um, something close to should give us something close to 8.499. So 8.499 plus 20. We have 28. 499 so that is our answer by method of coding so calculating the mean the mean of this distribution by method of coding is 28.499 remember what we did by inserting the formula and breaking it down to get the coding factor and what that was obtained we inserted it into the formula and this is what we got as the final answer being 28.499. Thank you very much for watching to this point and do well to share this video to your friend as it might be of very good help to them. God bless you.